It's an eight skater final, 30 minute jam session, 40 second per run, best run counts. And we move on to Liam. Let's bring in the third member of our team, Craig McMorris, out on the Ooh. course for a little vibe check. Craig, how we living? Uh, vibe check through the roof, especially with Liam Pace on course. He, uh, in practice, was definitely a standout. Uh, got a really creative line and tags that CATF uh, wall that I haven't seen anybody do other than him. So uh, definitely a standout in practice. Wow, transferring over that. That tombstone right there. Uh, Here's what I was talking about, boys. Wow. Oh, there oh. it is. Coming through fast with that nose ground. You seen the way he popped out on that? Like, came on the top of the extension. Front one. Landis. Ooh, oh, my. Ooh, ooh. Cat back D. Craig, I, that it, that's exactly as you described it you in practice. No problem there on that first run. You hear the boards. They hyped. Skating in his first Pro X Games event at 14. <laughs> he got tattooed. Life is good for the Oceanside native ooh. Gavin Bacher. Standing at five feet tall, 91 pounds. I'm telling you guys, we gotta stop doing age groups and stuff like that. We gotta do height contests because these little dudes are throwing fives wow. too high. Somebody's bored with a, with a broke. Well, let's go back down to Craig McMorris as Tom Shar drops in for his first run. Uh, you guys talking about everybody being a little tight? It's too early in the morning. I was talking to Tom Shar and he was like, this is too early to be doing this. Uh, yeah. But maybe that could be a factor in a couple of falls run one. Actually, that's a great point, Craig. Didn't it's... we start school at 720? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's a wow. little different than competing next games. And with the signature hat flip, <laughs> Tom Shar is now, I don't know, 40 to, for 40 as far as runs at the X Games of his hat falling off. I think he's good with the drop in. That's all they require from him because it's not finished the run. <laughs> That's not in his contract to finish the run with that. He takes over the top spot after his first run. Wow. So Liam Pace who won the AM contest a couple of years ago, making his true X Games debut here today. Ooh, wow. Max Smith, boy. I had him like that when I was young. <laughs> Throwing that five. The pace gets picked up when he's on the course, Gary. I like how you just threw that in there. I was waiting for pace jokes. I was going to make a pacemaker joke, but that's probably bad. Craig, doesn't it feel... Whoa. It just feels a little <laughs> elevated when Liam gets on the course, Craig. He's upset. I'm going to be honest with you. He's mad right now, and I'm scared. Oh, he's, he actually rolled on the wall that time instead of kind of planting up there, doing that nose grind, popping in the way he should. Good speed. That front one. Full cat back, D. Honestly, boys, I don't think I don't know how he's gonna improve, and that was yeah. that was big. That's gonna ride with Tom, in my opinion. There you go. And Liam Pace taking over the top spot. Here's Clay Kreiner in that eighth spot. Was not expecting it at the start of this contest. Jeez. Wow, that was pretty. Good front tail. Put the beating up. Oh, that would have been hard. Whoa! Stand on, no speed. Look at him. <laughs> That's right. Good back, Smith. Pick the beanie up, pick the beanie. Oh, bro! Good bonus off of that. Pick your beanie. Yes. Oh, came in big fakie. Everybody in there gets uh, a little extra hype when Clay's out on the course. Here's Gavin Barker. He was in, Barker, excuse me, was in podium position until Tristan knocked him out on the previous run. Can he get back up into the top three here? See, he has, look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. You can see it in his body. <laughs> it's not much body to see it in, but you can see it in his body that he's about to land everything. Just incredible what we're witnessing right now from the 14-year-old. Tom Shard Looks sitting like in that silver medal spot. Looks like everybody's kind of getting their legs now a little bit yeah. too. Yeah. So, oh! There you go, Tom. Front feebling the way he should. Getting that five. 
look at that. Looked like he was going to go for a grab for a second. Threw it to disaster. Got a good slide. Avoided the hat. Liam Pace in the top spot, but still has to wait for Tom and Tristan and, and Gavin to drop in. Absolutely. I mean, any of these uh, three next skaters could take that top spot. I mean, everybody's Whoa. playing musical chairs on the podium. I talked to Tom uh, just recently. He said he's going to do the exact same run once he get that big spin back deep. Uh, so look for that at the end. Breaking news. Thank you for that, Craig. Yeah, at this point, it's just like, he's got to get it. Like, this is it. This is what he's fought for. Oh, he was wow, not supposed Gavin to do that. Bocker. He was not supposed to do that. That was not supposed to work. That was supposed to go horrible. And it didn't. Remember, his fourth run was really a throw away. Oh, wait, oh, get that, get that, get that, get that. Oh, I don't even know the name. How do I say, like, but he got that. No spectators here today, but it sounds loud for Gavin's run, because that's all of his competitors showing him love. And Gavin Botker has go. entered the chat, moving all the way up into the silver medal spot. But now he has to watch Tristan Rennie. Yeah, Liam hitting that wall just add, added something to it. But Tristan right here with that back over curve coming in. The back blunt with a little tiny slide, if you see it. Tapping up. Following Tristan's story, he's just a good dude. So, I like this guy. Good 540. Okay, for grab. In and out strong right before the buzzer. So Tristan Rennie was the last the last guy that could break into the top three, and he does. Tom Shar was leading this contest after run number one. Arguably the most technically difficult run here in the final, but he's now sitting on the outside Splash looking it. in. Gary, Craig, can he get back into the podium and potentially win this thing outright? I think so. It's Tom Shaw. Look at that. That's like clockwork the way he's dying. That wall too. is where the hat drops. Yeah. He's got it timed perfectly. Last 20 for Tom Shaw. Nothing's that word. Throws a fat five. Front blunt. It's looking like exactly how he wants it. Coming in, he's gonna go for the big swing back. Come on. This is it. Yep. Oh, and it doesn't happen for Tom Shar. What an unbelievable moment for Liam Pace winning X Games gold in his debut. Gavin Botker, also an X Games rookie, going silver. Tristan Rennie rounding out our top three with bronze.